morning began with the usual Anzac Day service. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill relayed that the Anzacs will always remain a part of Papua New Guinea. The sacrifice and the service of many thousands of young Australians on our land and in our waters some 70 years ago is deeply appreciated by the people of Papua New Guinea and the government of Papua New Guinea. Australia's Governor General Quentin Bryce spoke about the hardships faced by the soldiers. Weeks of dysentery and malarial fever, lack of nourishment and sleep hollowed out their boyish faces, but rarely their morale or their raw courage and will. Amongst those who paid their respects, we found 75-year-old Errol Clark at his father's grave. Accompanied by his wife, it's been a lifelong dream to visit his father's grave. Coming from New South Wales, his trip was made possible through private sponsors. His father, Walter Allen Clark, died in Kokoda, aged 30, in 1942. Because Dad would have been 100 years old last year, I couldn't come. We are associated with some walkers that are out on the track now, Tumbarumba uh, Walkers, which are sponsored by the Rotary Club of Tumbarumba. Errol was four years old when his father died, but he still has fond memories of him. Yes, I remember. I was only four year old, but I remember him coming home in uniform. We were so proud of him, and yeah, he put a lot of time with us uh, when he was home. And um, yeah, we love Dad. Just metres away lies his uncle, a high-ranking corporal. He died the same year. Anzac Day commemoration was part of the travel itinerary for the lads of St Ignatius College in Riverview, New South Wales. They just finished walking the Kokoda Track. Um, we started the Kokoda Track last Tuesday and finished uh, yesterday. This is the fourth visit for the college. They usually make the trip biannually. They don't just walk the trek, they also undertake some community work. We spent half a day in Minari village, um, worked in the school there, um, so set up some volleyball courts, um, donated uh, some sporting equipment and books and pencils, those sorts of things. Um, and boys built the volleyball courts and then played sports games with them for uh, around about three, four hours in, uh, throughout the day before we kept walking. More than 8,000 Australians died in PNG during World War II. Their remains lie in our war cemeteries. Meredith Kusa, National MTV News.